You see, and, and I'm just so glad that God has blessed me with good people in this house. That was your turn to clap. I know I got a teleprompter up here saying you can clap now, but I'm so glad for good people. But for a time now. I'm taking like some time off. It's been a time of refreshing. You know, because almost all year I preach. Don't worry, I'll preach it before the end of the year. But I'm still taking some time off. Amen. And I just thank God that God is keeping it. God has blessed us with men and women. You see, because the gospel is for everyone. Men can preach. And I know some bad women that can preach. When I was growing up, we didn't see a lot of women because they tried keeping the women in the kitchen. You guys can do the actividades, you guys can fry the patelillos and all that the men preach. But I thank God for the new generation. And he says, you know what? God has used women. Oh, the woman was one of the most powerful instruments in the Bible. Amen. So I just, we have a young lady. You heard her husband preach a couple weeks ago. And I, I reached out to her and I said, can you preach? She said, well, <laughs> she started, you know, that, 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 that whole, she started singing a song. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah, you can preach. <laughs> and today I'm going to ask Sister Patricia. It's about what God wants to do. 
in your life. En la vida de ustedes. So thank you. So gracias for being here. Por estar aquí. Time and time again. Tiempo y tiempo otra vez. And allowing God to use you. Y permitiendo a Dios que los use. Good word. 
Algunos me escuchan el mensaje y dicen, eso fue una buena palabra. But that's all to it. Pero eso solamente es. The living out of the word is not a common practice. El viviendo la palabra es una práctica común. You see, based on the ABC News poll, basado en el ABC de noticia, 83% of Americans identify themselves as Christians. El 83% de los ciudadanos americanos se identifica como cristianos. But also based on the U.S. Census Bureau, y basado en el censo del Bureau, over 20 million más de 20 billones million, billones billones unmarried partners live together gente so, que se une y, y se casa se une y no están casados y viven juntos 125,000 125 mil abortions per day aborto por día but yet 83% of our society in the U.S. is Christians. Pero los 23 de la sociedad dicen que por ciento es cristiano. Again, this is my message of condemnation. Otra vez es un mensaje de condenación. If you've had an abortion, God is redemptive. He's here to redeem you. Pero si has venido un aborto, Dios no te perdona. Él vino a a redimirte. If you're living with someone you're not married with. Y si estás viviendo con una pareja que tú no estás casado con esa pareja, God wants to also redeem you. También Dios quiere redimirte también. This is what I'm here to talk to you about today. The condition of your heart. Esto es lo que quiero hablar de hoy. Es de la condición de tu corazón. The purpose to the call of holiness. El propósito del llamado a santidad. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 30, passage 6. Deuteronomio 30 This is a passage about Moses sharing with the people of God the law once again. You see, on the previous chapter, he had gave of the Ten Commandments, right? En el capítulo anterior le había dado los diez mandamientos. Now he's sharing with them the benefits y ahora está compartiendo con ellos el beneficio of obeying God de obedecer a Dios. If you do this, si tú haces esto, you will earn this. Tú vas a recibir esto. But then he's also talking about, y también está hablando, if you don't do this, que si tú no haces esto, then this will happen. Que esto va a subir. The curses that come from disobeying God. Las maldiciones que vienen por desobedecer a Dios. You see, Moses, I can only imagine, didn't want to. Yo, no puedo, yo solamente puedo imaginarme que Moisés no quería but he still spoke Pero sí, él siguió hablando. because he was obedient Porque era obediente. everyone is on that scripture amen Todos la escritura, moreover the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul so that you may live the Lord your God will inflict all these curses on your enemies and those who hate you, who persecute you. And you shall again obey the Lord and observe all his commandments which I command you today. Then the Lord your God will prosper you abundantly all the works of your hand and the offsprings of your body and the offsprings of your cattle and the produce of your ground. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good just as he's rejoiced over your fathers. If you obey the Lord your God and keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of law. If you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. For this commandment which I command you today, it is not too difficult for you. Nor is it out of reach. It is not in heaven that you should say, who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us so we may hear it. That we may observe it. Nor is beyond the sea that you should say, Who will cross the sea for us to get it and make us hear it, that we may observe it? But the word is very near. It is in your mouth, in your heart, that you may observe it. You see, the, the passage starts talking off about 
the, the circumcision of the heart. And just a little bit of history on what separated the people of God back then. Y un poquito de historia de lo que separaba el pueblo de Dios en ese tiempo. Was they had to be circumcised. Era que tenían que ser circuncidados. The circumcisions were literal. La circuncisión era literalmente. And here God is saying, y aquí Dios está diciendo, that He was going to circumcise, que Él iba a circuncidar our hearts, nuestros corazones. This is more of a spiritual sense. Ahora es una etapa espiritual. You see, where a circumcision is a surgery, right? Sabes que circuncisión es una cirugía. And when there's surgery, there's pain. Y cuando hay cirugía, hay dolor. There's time invested. Hay tiempo invertido. There is removing. Es algo que se va a remover. There's healing. Hay sanidad. And there's recovery. Y hay recuperación. The circumcision of our hearts is the same from the back then. La circuncisión de nuestro corazón es el mismo como el tiempo de ahí de ese tiempo. The outcome, el resultado, is that we are to be set apart. Es que nosotros tenemos que ser echado y separado. Because we're different. Porque somos diferentes. Because we're not like everybody else. Que no somos igual que todos. Because our hearts have been circumcised. Porque nuestro corazón ha sido circuncidado. Circumcision is to cut off the foreskin. Circuncisión es cortar lo que llevamos. So painful. Es algo doloroso. Very painful. Es bien doloroso. And this is the very beginning stages of purification and sanctification. Es la primera etapa de purificación y santificación. You see, the Lord is saying because I have circumcised your heart. Y el Señor está diciendo como yo he circuncidado tu corazón. It is not too difficult to obey me. No es tan difícil de obedecer. It's not too difficult to follow. No es tan difícil poderlo seguirme. You do not have to wait. Tú no tienes que esperar for anyone, para nadie, to tell you de te diga how to follow God. Cómo seguir a Dios. Because if you are a true Christian, porque si tú eres un verdadero cristiano, and your heart has been circumcised, y tu corazón ha sido circuncidado, then you know it's here. Y entonces tú sabes que está ahí. And this is not me saying this. Y esto no soy yo diciendo esto. But this is the Lord. El poder del Señor. He says it's in you. Y está dentro de ti. It's in your mouth. Y está en tu boca. It's near you. Está cerca de ti. It is not too far. No es muy lejos. God has given you the power to live holy. Dios ha dado el poder para vivir santo. You see, jumping into the New Testament. Sabe brincando el Nuevo Testamento. Jesus said he was leaving us a comforter. Jesús dijo te dejaré el consolador. A helper. Un ayudante. Someone who will convict the world of its sin. Que va a convertir al mundo de su pecado. In God's righteousness. Y la justicia de Dios. Praise the Holy Spirit. Alguien del Espíritu Santo. Your heart has been circumcised, and you have the Holy Spirit. Tu corazón ha sido circuncidado, tú tienes el Espíritu Santo. So when you're doing wrong, so cuando tú estás haciendo algo malo, you feel it. Tú lo vas a sentir. You hear God saying no. Y tú oyes a Dios decir que no. You hear God saying go the other way. Y tú oyes a Dios decir ve el otro camino. You hear God saying flee. Y Dios te dice huye. That's His grace. Eso es la gracia de él. What you choose to do with that, y lo que tú escoges hacer con eso, is going to give you two outcomes. Te va a dar dos resultados. You obey, si tú obedeces, you'll be blessed. Va a ser bendecido. If you don't obey, y si no obedeces, you'll be cursed. Va a ser maldecido. Righteousness. What does that even mean? Justicia, ¿qué significa eso? 
So I looked it up in the dictionary. So yo lo busqué en el diccionario. Because I could find scriptures that describe righteousness, but I wanted to see what the dictionary had to say. Pero yo podía encontrar la escritura que quería decir, que podía decir de justicia, pero yo quería ver lo que el diccionario quería decir. It says, acting in accord, es actuando en acuerdo, with divine, con divina, or moral law, o leyes morales. And you see, this is means being decent. Esto significa ser decente. Ethical. Es ser éticamente. Honest. Honesto. Honorable. Honrable. Just. Justo. Right-minded. De mente correcta. Straight. Derecho. Truthful. De verdad. Upright. Y caminar derecho. And virtuous. Y voluntuoso. <laughs> you see, as the word reflects, as the word reflects, la cara. So one's life, así la vida de alguien, reflects reflena, the heart, el corazón. That's right. Thank you. That's right. So if you're righteous, so si tú eres justo, your life should reflect it. Tu vida lo va a reflejar. It shouldn't just be what you say you are. So no debe de ser lo que tú dices que eres. But it's who you really are. Sino lo que tú verdaderamente eres. Because you can pretend. Porque tú puedes pretender. All day here. Aquí tú eres mía. We may not know. Tal vez nosotros no sabemos. But God knows. Pero sí Dios sabe. And when you're face to face with Him. Y cuando te cara a cara con Él. I pray that you're not the one saying. Yo oro que tú no eres la persona que está diciendo. Lord, Lord. Señor, Señor. I served you. Yo te serví. I cast demons in your name. Eché fuera demonios en tu nombre. And him say back to you. Y él decirte para ti. I don't know you. Yo no te conozco. You don't want that to be your story. Tú no quieres que eso sea tu historia. You see, I learned something in my walk with the Lord. Sabe, sabe que yo he aprendido algo en mi caminar con el Señor varias cosas. That our external sin, que interno pecado, externo, externo pecado, pecado. What we commit is a reflection of our internal sin. Que lo que nosotros cometemos, los pecados externos, son una reflexión de lo que cometemos interno. You see, when we steal from the Lord our tithes, sabe que cuando le robamos al Señor los diezmos, stealing is not just the act that you're doing. El robar no es el acto que tú estás haciendo. But internally, pero internamente, you don't trust God. Tú no confías en Dios. Because we don't believe porque no creemos that God que Dios can heal us. No puede sanar. We try to numb the pain. Tratamos de adormecer el dolor. And this is my gospel of self. Eso es cuando el evangelio de sí mismo takes place. Toma su lugar. Because you want to be in control. Porque tú quieres estar en control. And you don't want to give God control. Y tú no le quieres We get high. Nosotros nos ponemos bien alto to forget, para olvidar the things that we've done, las cosas que hemos hecho, the people we hurt, las personas que hemos herido, the people who's hurt us, y las personas que nos han herido a nosotros, because it's easy, porque es fácil to forget, para olvidar and numb, y poder dormir, a dormir el dolor. Rather than sitting hours, en vez de sentar horas, in front, en frente, of the king, del rey, who can, quien puede, and will, y, y va a ser, eternally heal you, eternamente sanarte. We gossip. Nosotros este, estamos guachinchando. That's the eternal sin. Esa es la, eh, el pecado interno. 
Because we don't porque no depend dependemos on God en Dios to reveal para que revele. No one needs to know what sister so and so is doing. Nadie necesita saber lo que la hermana tal y tal está haciendo. We lash out in anger. Nos avanzamos en coraje. Because ¿Por qué? we haven't forgiven. Porque no hemos perdonado. You right. see, anger comes from pain. Sabe que el coraje viene por el dolor. You're still hurting. Todavía está herido. So you haven't forgiven. So no ha perdonado. But the Lord says, pero el Señor está diciendo. You don't forgive. Si tú no perdonas, you won't be forgiven. No va a ser perdonado. So let it go. So déjalo ahí. Hebrews 12:14. You can turn here if you want to, but I'm going to read this. Hebreo 12, 14. Voy a leer esto si quieres. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one the Lord. See that no one falls, fails to obtain the grace of God. That no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble. And by it many become defiled. That no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau who sold his birthright for a single meal. You know that afterwards he wanted his father's blessing but he was rejected. It was too late for repentance, even though he begged with tears. You see, everyone falls short of the glory of God. Sabe que todos somos corto de la gloria de Dios. We know this because Scripture tells us. Nosotros lo sabemos porque la Escritura nos dice. And because we live it. Y porque nosotros lo vivimos. But here it says, see that no one fails. Y aquí que dice que nadie falle to obtain the grace of God. Para obtener la gracia de Dios. That means the grace of God is given to you for free. Sabe que la gracia de Dios te da gratis. Y tú la tienes. And here's saying, no one fails to obtain it. Que nada fa nadie falle en obtenerla. So I can give it to you. So entonces yo te la puedo dar. But you can reject it. Pero tú la puedes rechazar. So every morning when you God has given you the gift of grace. No, What are you going to do with it? Are you going to accept His grace? Vas a aceptar la gracia de él or reject it? O la vas a rechazar. You see, Esau. Tú sabes que Esau sold his birthright. Vendió la primogenitura de él. His inheritance. Su herencia. For a single meal. Por una comida. And right now you say, y ahora mismo tú dices, that's kind of dumb. Eso, eso es tonto. If I know that my family has all this inheritance for me, all this money, I would not trade it for a meal. Si yo supiera que mi familia tiene mucha herencia por mí y este dinero, yo no lo voy a de cambiar por una comida. But Esau, pero Isma wasn't thinking straight. No estaba pensando correctamente. Like we don't think straight. Como nosotros no pensamos correctamente. He was thinking about his temporary pleasure. Él estaba pensando por ese placer temporario. Of that single meal. En esa sencilla comida. He had tunnel vision. El, All he could see is the meal. Él lo único que podía ver esa, en esa visión es esa comida. He couldn't see the future. Él no podía ver el futuro. And by the time he realized what he had done, y para el tiempo cuando él se dio de cuenta lo que había hecho, it was too late. Era muy tarde ya. He traded his long-term blessings from God for a temporary fulfillment of the flesh. Él cambió su bendición 
de Dios por una temporariamente herencia, la temporaria fulfillment, el recumplimiento de la carne. I'm here to tell you. He venido a decir. There's consequences to your sins. Hay consecuencia por tu pecado. You are covered by the blood of Christ. Tú eres cubierto por la sangre de Cristo. If you receive it. Si tú lo recibes. If you receive the grace. Si tú recibes la gracia. We don't like to think about that. No nos gusta pensar en eso. Because we like to think God understands. God understands. Porque me gusta pensar que yo entiende, yo entiende. He loves me. Él me ama. And you're right. He does love you. Y tú estás correcto. Sí, él te ama. But he doesn't love your sin. Pero él no le ama tu pecado. It was your sin that put him on the cross. Fue tu pecado que lo puso en la cruz. Why return to it? ¿Por qué vas a regresar para eso? You see, we hear about David. Sabe que escuchamos de David. He was a man after God's own heart. He had a hombre con el corazón detrás de Dios. He had a blessed life. Él tenía una vida bendecida. But you see, he committed a sin. Pero sabe que cometió un pecado. And David was forgiven. Y David fue perdonado. And he was blessed. Y fue bendecido. He murdered. Él mató. The husband. El esposo. Of his mistress. De la Amante, el amante. Mm -hmm. And you see, the word says that the sword, y la palabra dice que la espada, never left his house. Nunca dejó de salir de su casa. He was blessed. Él fue bendecido. He was redeemed. Fue redimido. He was forgiven. Y fue perdonado. But there was a consequence. Pero hubo una consecuencia a su pecado. Pero no más. Y no tan solo eso. But she was first child. Que también el, el bebé de la mujer primero pues falleció. There's consequences to your sin. Hay consecuencias a tu pecado. Many of us walk around with bitterness in our hearts. Muchos de nosotros caminamos con amargura en el corazón. Jealousy in our hearts. Con celos en nuestro corazón. Unforgiveness in our hearts. Con sin perdonar. Anger in our hearts. Con coraje en nuestro corazón. Fear in our hearts. Con temor en nuestro corazón. Pride in our hearts. Orgullo en nuestros corazones. And because no one sees it, y porque nadie lo ve, we think we're okay. Pensamos que estamos bien. We refuse to let God. Rehusamos de dejar a Dios. Surgically, que con una cirugía, remove it. La remueva. It's crucial that we know that God is seeking a people who is willing to humble themselves. Es necesario que la gente sepa que Dios está buscando un pueblo que se humille. And let Him purify their hearts. Y que lo permita purificar su corazón. So that you may know what it is to live in freedom. Para que tú sepas cómo es vivir en libertad. And His blessings. Y en su bendición. You see, when we talked about the Holy Spirit earlier, sabe que como cuando hablamos del Espíritu Santo anteriormente, and when He's telling you don't do it, y cuando te dice no lo hagas, and you do it, y tú lo haces, you're grieving the Holy Spirit. Está encontrando el Espíritu Santo. While you're having fun, mientras tú te estás gozando, the Lord is weeping. El Señor está llorando. Because, ¿por qué? It was your sin. It fue el pecado tuyo. That put him on the cross. Que lo puso en la cruz. He's not overlooking your sin. He's not looking the other way. Él no está volteando, se ni mirando para el otro lado por tu pecado. He sees it. Él lo está viendo. And it hurts. Y le duele. Because you can't see. Porque tú no puedes ver. The freedom. La libertad. In the cross. Que tiene la cruz. Rage, y de todo coraje, and anger, y de todo este, rabia. enojo, enojo, rabia, slander, este, la forma de hablar malo, 
along with every form of malice. Y con toda forma de malicia. You may look good on the outside. Tal vez te vea bien por afuera. But God knows the inside. Pero Dios ve lo de adentro. When he calls you to be holy. Y cuando él te ha llamado a ser santo. He's telling you to be holy in the inside. Él te está llamando a ser santo por dentro. Because if you're holy in the inside. Porque si tú eres santo por dentro. The external will show. Lo de afuera va a demostrar. Going back to Deuteronomy, it says, choose life. Regresando a Deuteronomio, dice, escoge vida. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, and death and adversity. In that, I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply, that the Lord your God may bless you in the land where you're entering to possess it. But if your heart turns away and you will not obey, but are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You will know you will not prolong your days in the land where you are crossing the Jordan, enter and possess it. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. So choose life in order that you may live you and your descendants by loving the Lord your God, by obeying his voice, and by holding fast to him. For this is your life and the length of your days that you may live in the land of the Lord, swore by your fathers to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to have them. <laughs> you see, again, he's, he's saying, I've given you the power to do it, but you have to choose to do it. Otra vez te dice, te he dado el poder para hacerlo, pero tú tienes que coger en hacerlo. Father is a gentleman. No seas un caballero. He's not going to force you. Él no te va a obligar. To serve him. Para que te sirva. We have free will. Tenemos libre albedrío. And here we know. Y aquí vemos. That we need to choose life. Que tenemos que coger vida. You see, holiness. Sabe que santidad. Is attached to your heart. Está amarrado a tu corazón. And your heart. Y tu corazón. Is the source of life. Es la fuente de vida. Because if your heart stops beating, porque si tu corazón para de palpitar, you will eventually die. Aventuramente vas a morir. Choose life. Es coger vida. For our, our earthly fathers, discipline us for years, doing the best they know. And this is in Hebrews. But God's discipline is always good for us, that we may share in His holiness. You guys are parents, a lot of you are parents. You discipline the children the best that you know. And God is saying, He also disciplines His children. Because He disciplines you. Dios dice en su palabra que Él disciplina a sus hijos. Porque según nosotros somos padres, disciplinamos a nuestros hijos. And the discipline, y lo y de ser disciplinado, is not to say you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. No es para decir que tú eres malo, malo, malo. Is that you may change. Es para que tú puedas cambiar and share y compartir in his holiness en la santidad de él. No discipline is enjoyable when it's happening. Ninguna disciplina es disfrutable cuando está surgiendo. It's painful. Es doloroso. But afterwards, pero después de todo, there will be a peaceful harvest. Va a haber una cosecha pacífica. Of righteous living. De justicia, de forma de vivir. For those who are trained in his way. Para aquellos que están enseñando en su camino. He makes a straight path for your feet. Él hace un, un patrón derecho para tus pies. For those who are weak. Para aquellos que son débiles. And lame. Y son este, cobos. Will not remain that way. No se mantengan en esa forma. But become strong. Sino que se ponga fuerte. The night that um, Pastor Esti asked me to speak, la noche que el pastor Esteban me pidió que yo pre que hable, I went home really tired. Me fui a casa bien cansada. I slept. Y dormí. And God gave me a vision. Y Dios me dio una visión. And in this vision, y en esta visión, I was looking, yo estaba mirando, at this ocean, 
al océano. And it was beautiful. Y era precioso. It was transparent. Era transparente. It was clear. Era claro. It was so tempting that I wanted to go swim on it. Era tan tentador que yo quería nadar en él. But I was just looking at it. Pero yo solamente lo estaba mirando. And then I realized there was something wrong with that picture. Y después me di de cuenta que había algo malo de esa de ese retrato. There were turtles. Había entre tortugas in the ocean, en el océano y en el mar. But they weren't swimming. Pero no estaban nadando. They had their backs. Tenían su espalda to the ocean, al al mar. Like they were floating, como si estuvieran flotando. Vulnerably. Exposing their most inner parts, la parte más adentro, to death, a muerte, because the sun, porque el sol, was facing them, estaba mirándolos a ellos. If they stay there long enough, y si se quedaban mucho tiempo ahí, they'll die. Iban a morir. And, and I couldn't tell if the turtles were already dead. Y no me pude dar de cuenta que si las tortugas estaban ya muertas, or if they were sleeping, o estaban durmiendo. But eventually I knew that that message meant death of starvation and overheat. Y lo que me di de cuenta que ese mensaje este, estaba diciendo era que muerte de hambre o de um, caliente. And it was totally unnecessary. Y era totalmente innecesario. Because they were in the ocean. Porque ellos estaban en el en el mar. And they could have flipped over. Ellos podían voltearse hacia abajo. And they could have swam. Y podían nadar. And enjoy. Y disfrutar. The life that God had given them. La vida que Dios le había dado. And I said, Lord, why turtles? Y yo dije, Señor, ¿por qué tortugas? It could have been fish. Podían ser pescados. Shark, whatever it was, why turtles? And to observe their character, observa la carácter de la tortuga. They're withdrawn. Ellos son aislados. Aislados. They're cautious. Son entrevistos. They're slow. Son entrevistos. Caminan suave. They 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 need to be protected. Y necesitan ser protegidos. I dare to say today. Y me atrevo a decir hoy that that vision, que esa visión wasn't just for me, que no era tan solo para mí, but for this church, sino para la iglesia. You might have been withdrawn, tal vez tú estabas un poquito aislado, cautious, y con mucha este, preocupas, pre, precaución, because of what you've been through, por lo que has pasado. But God wants you, pero Dios quiere que tú, to swim. Que nadie en his blessing, en la bendición de él. I um printed out some heart shapes um last night. Spent some time cutting them up. We're gonna hand them out to you guys today. And um, the purpose of the heart is just a symbol of your heart. El propósito de esto que yo piqué de una forma de corazón es el propósito del corazón suyo. What I want you to do when you take this heart in your hands, y lo que yo quiero que tú hagas cuando recibas este corazón y lo tomes en tus manos, I want you to think about, yo quiero que tú pienses, the sin in your heart, el pecado que hay en tu corazón, not the external sin, no el pecado de afuera, de afuera, but the internal. Sino lo de interno. What is it? Y qué es? That is separating. Que te está separando. Me from God. De Dios. What is it? Qué es? That is keeping me. Que te está aguantando. From allowing God. De permitir a Dios. To circumcise my heart. De que pueda circuncidar mi corazón. I'm also going to ask the worship team to come up. También le voy a pedir al grupo de adoración que suba arriba. And we're going to pray. Y vamos a orar. Because when you write down that sin, porque cuando tú escribas ese pecado, I want you to come up. Yo quiero que tú vengas, believing, creyendo that God, que Dios, will circumcise your heart. Va a circuncidar tu corazón. And He will remove. Y él va a remover the very thing, la misma cosa, that 
that is drawing you and that is drawing you to die spiritually. Para que pueda espiritual. We're going to speak life over you. Vamos a hablar vida sobre ti. So you may choose life. Para que tú puedas coger vida. So you may walk in obedience. Para que tú puedas caminar en obediencia. Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Father God, I just thank you so much, Lord, for this word that you have given me, Lord, for your people, Lord. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will stir up the hearts of God, that they may want and desire, Lord, to, to live with you, God, in holiness, oh God, that they will understand, Lord, that you and holiness is one, that you are together with holiness, Lord, and you have called your people to live a holy life. You have called your people to live a life of obedience to you, God, not just by the lips of their saying, but by the circumcision of their hearts, oh Lord. So I pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus, that every distraction and every tongue of the enemy to keep them in bondage will be broken by your name, Jesus, by your blood, Jesus, that they may see, O oh Lord, the sacrifice that you made on that cross is not so, God, that they just walk around with bitterness in their hearts, with unforgiveness, O oh Lord, but you come to set them free from that, O oh Lord. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, that you will move the hearts, that you will touch the hearts, and they will be 